Hi there and welcome to this introduction video to the PhysioKey device. My name's Chris Mortensen and I've been a scanner therapist now for 13 years and I'm pretty excited about the PhysioKey. After many months of using it, um, there's no question in my mind that this is a device that's really well made, sturdy and high end. So let's have a look at the device. It's uh, made with ASA plastic, which is a solid plastic which is resistant to alkaline and acids and also won't fade or yellow over time. Charging, uh, your power now it's USB, micro USB charging and uh, I've found that using it in clinic I can use it for a solid eight hours and uh, I still have 10% of uh, battery power left. So I treat it like my mobile phone and just recharge overnight either in a base station which is an optional extra or just hook it up to the micro USB cable that's supplied with the device. Now looking at the electrode head of the physio key you'll see there's a departure from the rectangular electrode that uh, I've been or all of us have been using as scanner therapists over the past few years and when I first started using it I was a little bit concerned that I wouldn't be able to be as precise in my treatment in targeting areas uh, as I'm so used to the rectangular electrode but you know what it made no difference whatsoever in fact the device has now become a natural extension uh, of my hand and uh, my treatments have become much, much more precise as a result. In fact, my, uh, at the end of the day, I'm no longer fatigued by using the device. Um, and if I do want to go back to the electrode, the rectangular electrode, or in fact, any other of the electrodes that are available, which you can see uh, on the screen, here I simply just change the electrode. There's only one physical uh, button on the physio key and that's the home button here which controls the power and also which will basically navigate us back to the main screen. And the touch screen here is the interface that we use to navigate through all the settings and gives us the information while we are treating. So let's turn the device and on and uh, see what's inside. Now once the device boots up you see the main screen and you see the three modes that are available. Now as you can see there after a few seconds the screen goes dim and a small hand icon comes up. This is the screen lock function to stop you inadvertently changing settings or energy level whilst using the device. All you need to do is press that home button to activate the screen again. Simple. The line up here is your battery level indicator and these are the three modes that are available in your device. So let's have a closer look at these three modes. The key phoresis mode is a modified ontophoretic mechanism to facilitate the absorption of creams onto the skin. So it's not a biofeedback setting, pain relief setting as such, but is a galvanic signal that acts as a means of transferring creams such as your pain relief creams and cosmetic creams effectively through the skin. Let's go in there now and have a look at the settings. So we've got two settings, acid and alkaline, and basically you just choose your uh, type of cream to apply to the skin. Now the bioregulation mode contains all the presets for providing pain relief and functional restoration. And as soon as we enter this mode, the basic setting is displayed. This is because it's the simplest setting to find key points, which are our optimal points of treatment. As you can see, the basic setting is displayed up here. In the bioregulation mode, you'll find 11 presets for treatment and a setting to select the individual frequency for your treatment. So there's plenty to play with. So let's have a look at how we get to these settings. In the top right hand corner of the screen, you'll see a gear icon. So pressing this will take us to the bioregulation settings menu. So let's have a look at the settings that are available. Using the arrows on the screen, we can scroll up and down to get the setting we want. 
All we have to do is scroll to the setting that we want and then press the select icon on the main screen and adjust our energy. So on your screen you can see all the settings that are available for a detailed explanation of each setting and how they can be applied in treatment. Head across to the detailed physio key walkthrough video. Let's have a look at the individual plus setting. Here we can select a specific frequency between 5 and 460 hertz to work with. Once we select individually plus, you'll see this frequency seeking screen where the frequency loops continually from 5 to 460 hertz until you select the frequency you want. Once you've selected, you can fine tune that to get the exact frequency and then you simply hit select and then adjust your energy to begin treatment. Now let's have a look at the diagnostic mode. We use the diagnostic mode to view the dynamics, the changes of the body's via numerical readings and basically we treat where the numbers are the highest. In the training seminars you'll learn in detail how to use this mode but for now let's have a quick look. As soon as I enter the diagnostic mode I'm given two choices of settings. Frequency 78 which is our basic frequency, and Hertz individual, where like individual plus in the bioregulation setting, we can select any frequency between 5 and 460 Hertz. Let's have a look at how we can use the diagnostic mode. I'm going to select the basic mode and increase my energy level so I can feel it, I can feel that. And I'm going to take readings in the traditional way we would with a scanner device down the arm. So 129, 117, 109, 108, 108. The readings are quite high because I am under lights here, so my skin's uh, got a little bit of moisture. And I'm treating that particular spot until that green light comes. And that just means I've given it the optimal treatment. Now there is another way uh, which is a first with uh, this type of device. I don't have to take readings like that, I can actually slide the device and the uh, device actively takes readings. So what I'm going to do is put it there for two seconds and then I start to slide and you can see the numbers changing. And I just take note of the highest reading which once again was up here and then treat that area. Let's see that again, holding it there for two seconds and then begin sliding and you can see the numbers changing. Now this has dramatically changed my practice and it's a new feature in these types of devices and it's fantastic. Using it on uh, the spine, on muscle groups, I just drag the device along the skin and it actively takes readings. So there's an introduction to the Physio Key. If you have any questions, please drop us a line or call us. The details are on the screen. And thanks for watching.